tonight was about shock upon shock the general election coming up in a couple of weeks time and our thoughts about what's going to happen at it and after it so tonight's event was to talk about the current state of politics in the UK and more broadly, and particularly as we look ahead to the general election and what might come after in the, the UK political context. What we're seeing in, in the UK political spectrum, the importance of um, politicians being honest with the, with the electorate um, and the key issues that are up for debate within the election campaign that, that we're currently experiencing. I think for me, you know, we, we, we think of ourselves in isolation as a country. We think of ourselves as, uh, you can go back to almost that little Britain that we talk about, you know, the fact that we're Britain and that our walls are defendable, but we're not. We live on a world that is impacted by climate change. And yet we've had the coldest June but there are nations in this in this world not that far away from us who are having uh, um, those temperatures in the 50s and regular temperatures in the 50s. The world's in a time of shift and change, and we need to recognise that what we're being impacted on in the UK is caused by that. So economic migrants and people migrating here into the UK are coming for a better life for themselves, for the children. So uh, for me, it was about saying, well, you know, perhaps that the conversation should really be about why people wanted to come here. They wanted to come here for safety and not thinking of them as those people on boats. Tonight was about bringing together key stakeholders in, well, in various regions to understand kind of the political landscape going forward, what the general election is going to mean in terms of business and how we might all come together to inform what might be a very different government in the future. So I think it's interesting that there feels like there is a portion of the generation at the minute that is kind of invisible. So they feel quite disillusioned with politics. They don't feel like they can vote. They don't feel like there's an answer for them. Um, but it feels like they're being ignored. It feels like there's a very kind of polarised opinion at the minute, which is either you're very strongly Labour or very strongly Conservative. And actually, I think it will be very interesting to see how the middle ground of people who maybe don't fit into either of those categories maybe are seen. So I think the outcome of the election in terms of that demographic will be quite interesting um, because I do think there is a sector of the population that does feel quite disillusioned at the minute. Um, a really good group. Uh, it's good to be in a room where you don't agree with everybody or where you're getting insight from people who've got a different perspective and come from a different angle or have got different history that they bring to the table. So that is always good. Uh, sometimes, uh, particularly in the post-Brexit era, we don't like to talk about politics. We don't like to put on the table what we think or who we're going to vote for. But actually, tonight was a good night where people were able to be honest and uh, talk about what is possible, even in the very difficult times we're in. Politics defines everything in everyone's lives. It's, it's hugely important and it's very easy to become disillusioned at times. So I think it's hugely important that we create spaces for people of diverse backgrounds, diverse political opinions to come together to talk about hot topic issues of the day, whether that's cost of living, the future for economic growth in the United Kingdom, future of the delivery of public services, and make sure that we have a space for people to, to converse, to talk, to share ideas, to, to share insight, and really come together and um, trust one another and be open with one another and, and share that political dialogue.